नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू सिद्ध प्रज्ञा चैनल एंड यू आर वाचिंग पोस्टमैन 30 डे चैलेंज फॉर डेवलपर्स आई नो वी फिनिश्ड आई थिंक हाउ मेनी डेज डे फाइव डेज टिल डे फाइव एंड आई थिंक इट्स बीन ए वाइल मे बी ए वीक और वीक और सो आई एम सॉरी अबाउट दैट आई वाज बिजी विद अदर थिंग्स लेट्स ट्राई टू डू एज मेनी डेज एज पॉसिबल टुडे ओके सो वी हैव फिनिश्ड सो फार टिल वेरिएबल्स okay let's start with test okay here we have it okay test let's click on as usual click on this let's create a fork and uh, that's my workspace which i already created okay let's go here and let's click on view complete documentation here we go okay we already did that it's time to work on your next challenge lots of people use postman to test and explore their apis in this challenge we will learn how to write tests to programmatically assert that your api is behaving as you expect it to let's head over to this one add a request okay is it what is this i can i can has that joke i can okay can be used as an api for fetching a random joke a specific joke or searching for jokes in a variety of formats calling the api no authentication is required to use enjoy api response format all api endpoints follow their respective browser urls okay so let's see what they are trying to tell us here add a request add a request called jokes to the folder test with the following details okay let's do that let's go to here okay there are no requests so let's go ahead add it and they want us to use this url which we will do it's a get method url done and they want us to add the accept request header with a value of this one send the request and inspect the response on the bottom think about how you would assert that the api is behaving as expected maybe you received a certain status code 200 usually the response body is formatted a certain way or it contains a specific piece of data add a test okay let's go ahead first of all and what do they want us to use they want us to headers accept let's put this one Didn't I copy it? I thought I copied it. So let's unselect that. Let's say accept. It will tell. It will give us the header. Anyways, let's do that. Let's click send. Okay, as you can see, we got ID that one. What do you call a cow and a trampoline? a milkshake <laughs> okay so we got the status code and we also got the uh, response as json okay so this will be my test case at least that's what i am going to create i hope i think they are also going to show us that right so my test will be once i run this again whenever they are asking us to do those solutions right even they are using test cases right so that's what we will do we will go and add a test back in the request builder at the top find the test tab and expand the snippets from the right this is a list of the most popular test scripts written in javascript find one called status code is 200 and click it to insert it test that looks like this okay which we will do so they are talking about tests and snippets right they want a status code is 200 so this is what it is going to be putting so what will it do when you uh, execute the test if the status code is 200 then it will say passed test passed that's one of the test you can define test using the pm.test which is this one function providing a name and function that returns a boolean true or false value indicating whether the test passed or failed send the request and look under the test tab in the response view at the bottom of to see your result okay now let's go ahead let's send it and i got another one but test results as you can see it's passed 
and it sets status code is 200 because that is what we are printing. Got it? That's how it works. It passed. I remember when I was a kid, I opened my fridge and noticed one of my vegetables were crying. I guess I have some emotional cabbage. Dad jokes, huh? Okay, now let's write a test that fails. Under the test tab, to in the request builder on the top, copy and paste that snippet beneath the original one. Update the name of the test to expected a 404 and then replace the status code assertion from to 404. The syntax for the assertion in this function is from a library called chai. Is it chai? Chai.js. This test expects a 404 status code. Send the request again and review rules. Yeah, I mean it will fail. We I can already say that. The reason being. And they want us to put exactly what expected. Eh? Send it. One will pass, one will fail, right? Because my status code is 200, not 404. So that's why it failed. Expect a response to have status code 404, but got 200. Got it? And what is the joke system? What animal is always at a game of cricket? A bat. Hmm, some days you wrote it, I guess. In upcoming challenges, we will learn more about testing for collections and folders, automating tests, and more advanced scripts. Once you complete these steps, move on to the next folder in this collection to submit your solution. Follow the instructions. I guess we have to give... The, our collection UID. Okay, let me save this one first of all. Let's go. Submit your solution. Let's go. Collection. Let me add this one. How did I forget how to change my okay here? Because I already have that variable in there. Mm. Or I will just update it here. I will hard code it. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? And what is my collection UID? You click on the collection, go to I, then it will be right here. Copy it. Then come back here. Where is the request here? Okay, it's not that one. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. So let's click on it again. Now I can replace, I can go ahead and uh, update my value there, but it's okay. Let's do it right here. Send it. Oh, I need to update my API key as well. Mm -hmm. Headers, yeah, here it is. But I already have my Postman API key. Why is it not taking? Is it a different name that I provided? Let me see. Uh, environments. Click on that. Oh, it's gone. Why? Did they change it? Hmm, interesting. Why did this go away? Okay, let me again bring back my API key. How did we do it last time? Do any of you remember how we did it? it's definitely not here I think I need to click here let me try to do it all right I finally got my key and I updated it there and let me change back this let me go and do this let's hit okay this one again let me go and change that for some reason it's gone okay, I don't have that again Let's paste our collection UID. Come on. I just copied, didn't I? Okay. Now this should work. Two failed. If I click on it, let's see what failed. Request added correctly. 
cannot read properties of undefined reading name okay, what are they trying to tell us here okay so looks like we have some failures request added correctly type error okay maybe fix test or they want us to fix the test case because this is test case tutorial is that what they are telling us can we do that i don't know if you are allowed to do that okay let me see maybe since i re-logged in did it change everything okay i still have that function i still have this function and basically that's what we did let's see okay so why did that one fail let's see what is it doing the name of it is request added correctly check number of requests which is equal to one let snippet collection i don't expect them to ask us to fix this one A required name jokes said joke it's looking for jokes is that why is there something that they wanted us to post here other than that they asked us to do that which we did okay we did that one as well okay we use that one yep right yep we did that one as well get a new request Oh, never mind. They want us to call these jokes. See that? Add a request called jokes to the folder test. Yeah, we need to rename this. Hence, that's why it went wrong. Awesome. Okay, now let's go back and send this one. And now it passes. Okay, that's why we need to, I guess, follow each step the key was, I guess. And uh, let's look at our cat. Oh, come on. Okay, if it doesn't, then we'll go to the next one. I hope you were able to successfully uh, execute this test. The you no, know, when we ran it first time, three pass, two failed because of this jokes. We didn't name it, that's why. So let's go back. Okay, we are again back here. So let's go ahead and uh, fork the day seven, right? Fork it. Okay, we are back here. Let me open, okay, I think I cannot open this. Or let me see. Okay, it's not that one. Copy let's paste that one let me go back so that i can have this here okay now let's see what this this is about debugging looks like let me overview this one get the challenge okay we already did let's check out nasa's astronomy picture of the day api to learn more about debugging api calls in postman the postman console gives you visibility for debugging during development api key missing no api key was supplied get one at that okay we will try let's see add a request add a request called a pod okay this time i want to make the same mistake again let's rename this a pod to the folder debugging with the following details get and then this is the url API key query parameter with value demo key. Oh, okay. That's what we were missing. Okay. 
okay count query parameter value to 10 open the postman console in the left bottom left send the request and inspect the various parts of the network cell example network okay which we will do so let's add did this query or count what is it count okay let's put that and hit send okay so we got copyright jerry whoever that is copyright date explanation media type all that awesome stuff and if we click headers you can see rate limit third 40 rate limit remaining 39 so i guess we can only uh, hit 39 more times content type options no sniff so they won't show us what the content type and etc i think that's what they want us to go through and add a log statement under the test tab of the request add a console.log function to output the title of each image to the postman console okay so i think this is what it is we can this allows you to parse a response quickly so we are creating a variable pix and uh, getting the response in and converting it into json then we are looping through this particular variable if it there are multiple we are looping through each uh, record in the json and what are we doing pix then we are logging to the console the pick title and pick url that's what we are doing so let's go here click on test i mean i guess i can just select can i not hmm. okay let me try and paste this here save this and if i hit send let's see what happens but this is test though how is test going to be in the debugging Okay, let's see. Did they ask us to execute it? Oh, okay. It did. Do it. Test results none. Body. So where did where did it print all this? definitely not here definitely not there so where did it do that no idea let's go ahead and see what they are saying using console statements like console.log dot info one error in either the pre request or test script tabs lets you track request executions exceptions and error during development feel free to add more log statements perhaps conditionally to provide more insights in what is being returned from the server once you complete these steps move on to the next folder and to submit your solution but okay we did that we added that but why what what did i do here i am not seeing that is this not getting executed or should i say if it passes then only do that okay i'm lost here comment and tell me if i'm missing something okay let me try to do that i don't know what they are going to test it so let's test that not sure let's see change the uh, change it to that one the reason i change it to that because uh, this particular uh, when you submit the solution remember the it needs by changing uh, your environment it will populate the api key that i stored in my that one okay it passed and i got my cat but i still don't understand okay oh, i think here it is showing okay previously i think we might have missed name debugging a pod 
is it this one name event no it is not I have no idea where this is showing the results is it showing in here no. title and URL I have no idea let me know in the comments where I can see that but anyways our solution passed uh, our whatever we put solutions passed I think they are just trying to teach us how to enter those logs uh, if you want to log to console how you do that how do you do that anyways we did it successfully so no problem let me okay that's it good good okay, now let's go ahead and do the day eight create a fork fork let me okay it is here this one I will just go back so what is this about let's see let's use the random user API what is this day about run a collection oh, okay I think that should not be hard to learn how to run a collection in Postman, random user API, add a request, add a request called get random user. Okay, it's going to be the get method with that at least one test to determine a successful response from this API send the request to make sure your test pass okay I will add that let's go here that one I think we are good okay mail XYZ and our test passed okay what else I think they want us to create another one duplicate the request to create a second request called get female user I think we will extract the data and we'll get the female user I guess duplicate this and we already know how to do that rename you may need to update your test to ensure a successful response send the request to make sure your test pass okay and uh, how do you get a female user I guess we need to open this and find out you can okay let's submit gender and female I think that's how it is going to be so we can do that female if I, if I send it and we are getting female but we are supposed to create test case for this we just doing 200 doesn't work for this one right because um, even if you give in you know for example let's say you give mail that will pass does that mean that this request is actually working no so I am thinking we need to go to results and the gender has to be female at least that's what I would write a test case right when I get in the response so what will we do uh, response to have status 200 instead of that I can say response how do I extract that one pm dot response we will get the response and uh, instead of status I would say results then gender okay, let's say I don't know if I can do this if this is female is there a get a variable let's see if there is one here not variable get send a request status code 
yeah maybe have about not body response yeah this one right let's click that one so actually you know what let me undo this okay that is good for me now i am going to add another one json value check your test name i will just say a check female okay we are json data that is the variable and we are getting the response once we get the response we are checking the value which one this is going to be request is it response no request dot gender is that it results sorry and that should be equal to female okay let's hope uh, this will work okay it failed why expected expected undefined to deeply undefined why is this undefined okay let's see results okay maybe i cannot use that results and then gender how do i get it okay if this clearly looks like it has multiple items in it right it's a list okay it will get a list how about if i add results that dot gender yes that passed check female that passed okay since the results is a list I am only getting the first item, first item, and I am checking the gender. If that is female, I am good. And uh, yeah, I am checking this one. But I hope if we can check all the, if it is all the genders is female or not. But I guess for this one it will work. We are just learning, so let's see. There is another third request as well. <laughs> okay, duplicate this. Get French user. Okay, now I see where this is going. duplicate it oops not duplicate rename it okay french user how will we get french user let's say i think there is a parameter in this i think we can pass right if i want a user how do you french user I think it is this one. What is this? Nationality, which is Nat G Nat G B. For French, it will be F. French is F for France is French. I hope so. Okay, let's go back here. Did they give any hints here? Why are they giving this link? Did did they already have something like that here? they are just showing us how to do it i know how to do it already okay you seem to be offline okay i am not offline i don't know why it is showing that okay now let's add another one which is um, nash nat and it, it's supposed to be fr so we can just add to the test case another one and only french user did they say female oh yeah both female french okay and for our test case we have to check that and we have to check if he is french or not so how do we get the data if it is french country is that how So if I run this with nat that, what will I get? Okay, let's go here and see country. What is the country? France. Maybe that's how we do it. So let's go ahead. Test added. France. Check country or nationality. 
maybe country is not a correct is there something called nationality yeah i think we may we might have to check this one maybe yeah so how about results where is it nat it's right here i think it's right here is it it yeah same thing instead of gender we will just get nat and this should be equal to fr send it and all three out of three passed check national female good 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 save it what else okay i am liking this now run the folder now we created three right we can just run the collection now that you have three requests with test you can step through and run the folder by tabbing through each one of the requests and settings and an easier way to run request is to use collection runner run only the folder run a collection to make sure okay i will close all this okay yeah, how do i do that run folder run manually you can schedule it automated via that iterations only one i don't want any data file just run it okay you can see the test everything is passing awesome okay we are done with it actually looks like <coughs> okay all done okay all we have to do is submit our solution easy okay i like this one because they made us do little bit more than whatever we are used to doing and don't forget to select this one for your uh, api key so let's hit send fingers crossed yes all tests five out of five is a big pass request correct correct collection return request added correctly tests added correctly oh is that so what are your tests okay check name equals get french user okay they are checking that one check method get which is the check parameters to which we have which are equal to gender and also nationality okay that's it and what is this test name request add, oh, that is request test add okay test what how are they checking it oh they are just checking if there is a test on it <laughs> they're not checking how we created the test okay that's fine all right i think that's about day eight so let's finish one more day day nine and i can I, then we can call it as a day so let's go ahead scripting create a fork fork collection go back let's go here it will update it and let's click here click on this one let me close this 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 and view complete documentation let's use the random user api to learn how to script which is the same one so it's the gate method copy that okay let's go ahead create it select or oh, they told us to name it get random user the same one i think pre similar to the previous one send request we know what will happen add another request add a second request called echo the user after the first one with the following details okay it's a completely new request so oops and we know what echo the user does it echoes whichever user we get from the previous one i am assuming since this is script maybe we will pass the output of that to this particular one json request body format oh we are doing a post here and the formatted body will look something like this okay change the request return to the test tab of the first request to capture the data required for the second request 
as I mentioned, right? The user from this is going to be sent to that. Use collection variables this time. Step through the workflow by running each request one at a time to ensure you are getting and setting the variable properties and passing the data correctly. Run the collection. Once you think you have it, run this folder using the collection runner. We already did that. If you want to run the entire collection instead of the folder, add postman set next request null. Okay, so change the reactions. Oh, it is getting harder. <laughs> Return to the test tab of the first request to capture the data required for the second request. Collection variables. Okay, we ran this and what are we passing for the second user body? It's going to be raw JSON and it's going to be that and it's going to be a post. If I run this, yeah, it's posted and it is getting the same details from that and printing it here. But this has to be dynamic. We have to get the name email ID from here. Name. But are we giving the full name? Yeah, full name, which should be that is street name. This is first and last name. I guess we need to get this one. Name, mm, email, what else? ID. I think ID, ID will be okay. We have it in the data. Never mind. Okay, we need to pass all this to the next one. So, how do we do it? First of all, they told us to in the test section get a collection no we are setting a collection variable here and uh, okay that's how you are doing it variable key i will call this user name and the value will be a response right it has to be yeah so results how do i do that response dot can i do the something like that no remember in the previous one how i how we got the response let's see let me enter it and let me try to get that one how did they get it okay using this one let's do the same thing i will run that first i don't know if it if it will work and I said data and JSON data dot it's going to be what data no results results and results is a list so I will get the first one and then within it I will get data is that it didn't we see somewhere data Where did it go? It had the name, email. Was it not here? Is it here? Oh, it's here. So how do I get those details from here? So we have the email ID here. And what is the ID? It looks like this. I think it's UUID. All right. Uh, that's going to be a little bit tougher. So it's going to be name under name. Okay, where, where am I? Okay, here we go. This is going to be name dot first. And we need to append. How do we append in here? Plus, can I do a plus? I don't know. I'm just trying. And I think there is a space in between, right? Of course. And let me give a space. I'm just throwing it there. I don't know if it will work. Okay. It's not, at least it is not throwing the error. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's hit send. Okay. It didn't fail. So I hope 
and let me come here and instead of this can I in the body how do, how do I okay let's try to give a collection variable how do I put collection variable in there and then I will say user name since these two are in the same collection I think that should work this should set that should get okay let's create the other two as well and this will be email and the other will be id and no concatenation needed here for this one same goes for this one okay and this is in the email okay email login uid okay and this is going to be login and then uuid I, we can even log it here but i'm i think i'm fine so let's go here This is going to be username, email, ID, unresolved, that's okay. Okay, let me send this. Let me send this. Did it work? Yes, it did work okay it brought what what is this what is the name Camille Abraham this worked but the next didn't work um, so we did pass it but it is bringing what previously did it had all these slash or slash ends I don't remember I'm assuming it worked but let's see but what did they tell us they told us to chain it okay so we are setting here but do we have to get it here do we have to use that why getting is just getting right is it not Okay, let me go and do that run. I think that, that should be fine. Let's see. Okay, let's try and test our solution. Not sure if it if it's going to pass, but we never know until we submit it, right? And it passed. Yes, sir, it did pass. Get user, it passed. What are the tests that they created? Let's see. Request added correctly. Echo body added. Okay, this is a body. Okay, let's check this. Variable set correctly. They are just checking for the test. They are not checking exactly what is it. Okay, but they are testing it by passing different please try again okay awesome well that test passed i am happy all right i think that's about it um we did what we did four days today because i want to catch up to whatever we missed i hope you enjoyed it the scripting one this one was a little little bit challenging but i liked it because of all this how to they didn't tell us how to get this and how to put it i just using my json knowledge knowledge and etc i did it i'm happy i hope you did it as well and you passed this one as well i hope to finish this one as soon as possible day nine we are left with 21 days and thank you for your time and do check out other playlists on our channel there are a lot of them
okay and if you are if you are someone who wants to clear aws certifications we have pretty much at least right now we have three different certification questions analysis and uh, if i'm going to add actually in the coming month i'm going to add more for sysops devops machine learning data engineering security etc so see you there thank you very much for your time have a nice day peace out